Verbal Reasoning 3. So this is book six, Verbal Reasoning 3 of the Scholars Course. And we have to choose and underline two words, one from each set of brackets, which are most opposite, which are opposite in meaning. Can you see how slowly I read that? Never speed up uh, reading the instructions. The instructions is a love letter from the examiner to you. It is the most important part of the exam because if you get that bit wrong, the rest will just, just not be right. So read all of what they've given you um, to decide which ones we're going to do. So uh, off we go. Crimson, accept. So crimson's a, a very bright red. This is a pretty crimson. Uh, crimson, accept, hot, refuse, or it could be refuse, um, depending. So the, uh, the refuse can be the bin, or I refuse ever to empty the bin again. Win, red. So what a most opposite meaning. Now notice they've got crimson and red. That's in case you suddenly think, forget that it's opposite in meaning. Uh, so the answer is, I accept the reward. I refuse the reward. Can't imagine I'd be getting a, an award to accept or refuse, but we can imagine, can't we? Endless length long. Depth, ocean, short. Once you've read them all, it's easy, isn't it? So it is long and short. I like knitting socks. Some of them are long, some of them are short. Marshmallow. Sour. Candy. Toffee. Sweet. Hot. Now I think the two that are most opposite in meaning are sour and sweet. Right, let's not forget this one down at the bottom. Create, cook, symphony. That's put in there just in case it, it worries you. Music, thank, destroy. Now there'll be those that say, oh, I know what a symphony is. It's to do with music and that's why it's there. But actually, you create something with your Lego. You destroy something with your Lego. Complete opposites. Asleep, alert, seek. Dormitory, bed, awake. Now, dormitory is where lots of people all sleep together. Dorm is the bit that means sleep. Um, so, a dorm mouse uh, sleeps a lot. I um, can't think of any other dorm words. There are quite a few. So, the most opposite are asleep, awake. Laugh, produce joy miserly, misery, mister. Now miserly is when you really hang on to your money, you're not prepared to give it out, spend it or share it. Misery is just thing. So did you go for laugh and misery? If, if, if you did, that's where it would have gone wrong. Um, so laugh is a verb, ha ha ha, I laugh. But if you were to say the laughter in the room, that's laughter is the noun, not laugh. Joy is a noun. Let me explain. So the joy of a nice, dry, good mattress cannot be overestimated. The misery of a cold, wet, lumpy mattress cannot be overestimated. Do you see what I mean? So misery and joy are the opposites. Fishery, where they grow fish. A cow, clockwise, milk, anti-clockwise time anti-clockwise and clockwise so clockwise goes like that in the direction of the clock and anti-clockwise goes like that I was about to do it the same wasn't it goes the other way number eight initiate inhabit let's move it up a bit shall we initiate that means to start something um, the initial uh, problem was, so the first problem was, inhabit uh, is somewhere where you live. The inform. Habitat, um, there's a shop called Habitat, habitation, habit, meaning to live. Inform, furnish, to put furnishings there. Now notice that I, this isn't strictly relevant to this, but it, it comes up. Um, 
furnish, but you can hear the ish easily, can't you? But if you say furniture, we tend to say furniture. But if you say furnish, you can hear it's meant to be an I. Finish, fidget. What a most opposite is actually to finish something. So we've just finished this section and then we will initiate, that means start, the saving thing on the computer that will do clever stuff. So initiate, start, finish, to finish. Hope that helped. See you in a minute.